Hello, Eduardo. Good evening. Do you listen to me, Eduardo? Hello, Edward. Yes. Okay, great. I listen to you perfectly. Thank you. That's excellent. And uh, Eliseo was trying to log in. I gave the access to him, but probably his connectivity is having problems, okay? How was your day today? Ah, he's here. How was your day today, Edward? ¿Cómo estuvo el día ahora, Eduardo? Nice. Yes, nice. Okay. Great. Because today is a Thursday, tomorrow no classes, right? Okay, so Eliseo, hello, good evening. Hi, good evening, coach. Welcome, thank you for joining. Okay, how was your day, Eliseo, at work? Everything was, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, it was okay. A little okay. heavy, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Too many things to do, right? Yes. Okay, but fortunately, we have a, a job. Yes, that is the important yes. thing. Okay, great. Welcome. So listen, because we only have one hour, we're going to get started with the feedback. Okay, vamos a iniciar ya con, eh, mientras se unen los otros compañeros, con el repaso de la clase de lo que vimos el día de ayer. And in order to do that, I'm going to begin sharing my screen with you guys. Okay. Les voy a comenzar compartiendo mi pantalla como todos los días. Okay. So I am so glad that you are here, people. And here we go. I'm going to start sharing my PPT, my PowerPoint presentation with you, so you can have a feedback of what we did yesterday. Okay. And here we go. Mm. Let me see. Yesterday we had our session number seven. Yeah. And if you remember, guys, this was the objective. In this lesson, participants will listen and follow a conversation about fitness. Notice questions with how and short answers. If you remember yesterday, we were practicing this conversation, right? And Okay, let me see. Okay. The topic was, I'm a real fitness freak, if you remember. And then you also asked and answered these questions. Yes, in the breakout rooms with how often do you work out? Do you want to play some time? Do you do aerobics? Do you do yoga? Do you play tennis? Do you play soccer? Do you do karate? How often do you play baseball? How often do you play volleyball? How often do you play video games, right? So this is a feedback of what we did yesterday. Welcome everyone to the ones who joined recently to the class. You are really welcomed. I am very glad that you are here. And here we have the conversation that you were practicing yesterday in the breakout rooms and you were switching roles, if you remember, right? So this was uh, the listening practice and Right now, I'm going to play it for you one more time so you can practice listening, okay, to what we uh, were practicing yesterday. And here we go, okay? And you tell me if you are able to listen or if you have any problem with the audio, okay? So here we go, let's get the start. I'm going to play it for you one more time, okay? So here. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi everyone, are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? 
Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, and that was the, okay, the conversation that we practiced yesterday, right? Do you have any question about that conversation? No questions? No okay, very well. So we are here. Let me see. Here. That was the feedback. But now we're going to go into what matters today. And it goes like this. Okay, here we have this. Okay, Jocelyn is joining right now. Here, we continue with, okay. So, and we were making an emphasis yesterday on the pronunciation of twice. Twice, twice a week. It sounds together, twice a week, three times a week. When it is only one time, once a week, once a month, once a year, okay? Once a day, for example, also. So let's move to, okay? In the objective we have for today, in this lesson, participants will listen and follow a conversation about fitness. Notice questions with how and short answers. And it is the conversation that I already played for you, right? And here we have the topic, questions with how and short answers. And here we have writing and speaking time. If you remember, guys, yesterday you were practicing the conversation, yes? And you were speaking, speaking, and speaking. But I told you yesterday at the end of the class, did you practice listening? Yes, teacher, you told me. Did you practice speaking? Yes. And did you practice speaking? Yes. But we didn't practice writing. So today we're going to begin um, writing and speaking because you're going to build some questions. But before we go over that, here we go. And I'm going to play a video for you. Hello, Jocelyn, welcome. Hello, teacher. Okay, so here we go. Let's see which one, mm, where is it? Okay, so listen to this, okay. Here in this section, participants will watch and study questions with how and short answers. So I need you to pay close attention to the video I'm going to play right now. Here we go. Look at this, questions with how and short answers. Remember that we have been working with the frequency words or frequency adverbs in order to ask how often, how long is about the period of time, okay? How well is about adverbs of manner, the way that something is done. How well do you play tennis? Es acerca de los adverbios de modo, que para describir la forma, cómo realizamos alguna actividad o una acción. For example, how well do you play tennis? Pretty well, bastante bien. About average, más o menos, uh, promedio, que lo normal. Not very well. How, how do you drive or how well do you drive? You may say not very well. About average, it means a standard, un nivel promedio. Uh, pretty well, bastante bien, excellent, amazing, okay? How good are you at the sports? Pretty good, bastante buena, bastante bueno en, en los deportes. I'm okay, it's a synonym of about average. Not so good can be a synonym in negative for not very well, okay? And here we have about a period of time. How long? How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day, two hours a week, two hours a day, about an hour on weekends, it depends. So right now we're going to listen to this explanation. It is our grammar focus. Here we go. In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. 
Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How. How often. How long. They refer to times or frequency. How well. How good. They refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Please answer these questions on our discussion box. Okay. Are you done with that activity in the discussion box? Hello, class. Did you answer those questions in the discussion box? Yes or no? Not yet. Yes. ¿Ya, ya contestaron esas, esas preguntas en la discussion box? Yes. Yes, everybody. Jocelyn, are you no. done? No. Claudia? <laughs> Jeremy? No, teacher. Okay, <laughs> it is time for you to do it. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds, okay? Edward already did it. Eduardo, si ya lo hizo. En la discussion box. Okay, it's time for you to answer them. Those four questions in the discussion box, okay? I'm going to refresh the page. Okay, and here. Mm. It is this one. And here you are, okay? So you have here the discussion box. Then you're going to click, you know, here, and then you're going to write the answers to the questions. Do you remember the questions? Yes? No, teacher. No. Okay, I'm going to play the video and I'm going to try to stop it right at the end, okay? In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello, everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. Okay, class. Notice that here you have the short answers, okay? And how well do you speak English? You can say pretty well, about average, not very well. And with how good, you may say a pretty good, okay. And let's see if I don't have... Uh, okay, or not so good, okay? These are your possibilities. You need to pay attention to the question, okay? And to the potential answers, yeah? And now we're going to continue. Um, if you want to, you may take a screenshot of this, uh, okay, image. Because it's going to be useful for you, I think, in order to answer. And you write the reality, okay? 
Shall we? Yes. ¿Podemos continuar? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Now you have to, okay. How? How often? How long? They refer to times or frequency. How well? How good? They refer to performance. How? Okay, here is what you have to answer. How often do you go to English class? Every day? Two times a week? Twice a week? Four times Three a times? Week. Four times a week? It depends on your reality. How long do you spend at school? ¿Cuánto tiempo? En este caso, it could be an One hour. hour. An hour. An hour a day, yes? Or two hours a day or 30 minutes a day. I don't know, okay. One hour a day could be. How well do you speak English? Okay. Pretty good. Uh, about average. Or not very well. Or very well. Yeah. And how good are you at speaking English? And then the potential answers are good, very good, not so good. Notice that here we use well and here we use good. Okay, this is an adverb and this is an adjective. Good and well. And you have to answer those four questions. You may write an, a number, okay? One, two, three, and four. When you finish, you tell me class, okay? Did you finish class? Okay, if I ask uh, Cloud, uh, no, Jocelyn, how often do you go to English class? Uh, four times a week. Four times a week. In her case, why? Because it is short answer, yes? Only the period of time. Thank you so much. Now, if I ask Eliseo, how long do you spend at school? Eliseo, are you here? 
No. Let me see who else is a week. Mm, how long? No. How long? It is the second question. Okay. How long do you over here? How long do you spend at school? Cuánto tiempo pasas en la escuela o en la clase? At school. I spend. No, no. Short answer. Short answer. One hour every day. One hour every day or one hour a day. Yes. The two yes. answers are okay. Very well. Uh, Claudia, how well do you speak English? Are you here, Miss? Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, Miss Claudia, how well um, do you Julia, speak about, English? About every, every, average, average, average. About average, average. About yeah. average. Excellent, very well, average. About average. And let's see. Jeremy, how good are you at speaking English? Jeremy, how good are you at speaking English? Very good. Okay, very well, excellent. So you are done with the, with the questions and answers, yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, very well, great. And now, do you have any question about this situation? Remember, how often and how long is to ask about uh, a period of time, yes? And how well and how good is about performance, how you or somebody performs or does an activity, carry out or develops an activity, okay? So now, let's see. Mm. We're going to go over the knowledge check. Did you do it? Yes, you are supposed to be over this. Yes or no? Did you finish the knowledge check? Yes. Hello. Yes, you did it? All of you? Hello, class? Here? Instructions, complete the following, okay? Complete the following questions, guide yourself with the answers choose from how often how well how good how long do you remember that we were discussing this last week yes so i yeah. expect that all of you are over this yes entonces esto ya lo ya lo ya lo realizamos yes or no hello yes, yes. okay great and now let me see the next one here are the, the, um, the health and fitness quiz. You did it? Yes, do you remember? We were also discussing about this, yeah? And here yes. you have the space where, yeah? So uh, are you healthy or you're not so healthy? I'm healthy. Okay, you're healthy, great, excellent. And I'm checking this because in case that, Okay, over here. Uh, but this is about the past tense. Later, we're going to go over this. And right now, we're going to practice, okay? In order to close this activity, we're going to start practicing because you're going to be building questions, okay? Writing and speaking time writing and speaking. So here we have, how often do you go to the gym? I go to the gym every day. This is full answer. How often do you travel by bus? I never travel by bus. Again, full answer. But now we're going to build questions, but all the answers are going to be short. For example, how often do you listen to music in Spanish? I never listen to music in Spanish. Okay, that is full. In short answer, what could be the version? Never, sometimes, yes, usually. How often do you, and here, what could be an action? How often do you? 
Play Any video games. Play video games. Okay. I play video games mm, twice a week, but that is full answer. And you love to answer, uh, to give full answers, but I'm going to ask you to give short answer. So class, you are going to build five questions, okay? Using how often or how well or how long. For example, let's see. The structures that you have been practicing. And I'm going to share my whiteboard with you, okay? Those are some examples. And here, let's see. Let's brainstorm some questions. Number one, if I say how, how good are you at singing? Notice this. Notice the structure, please. How good are you at singing? When we say at, the verb that follows at must be in ing. Que tan bueno eres para cantar? That could be kind of uh, the translation into Spanish. But we have at is a preposition. And after a preposition, the verb must be in ing. How good are you at singing? If I say, uh, Eduardo, how good are you at singing? Eduardo, how good are you at singing? Um, I have a question here. Yes, sir. Tell me. What is, what is the difference? And sing and singing in the question. It is the same in this case at singing because we add ing because the verb is preceded by a preposition. El significado en este caso es el mismo cantar infinitivo. Así se le conoce en gramática. Porque tenemos infinitivo, bueno, tres tipos de infinitivo, ¿verdad? Eh, to sing, sing. Singing, singing the infinitive with ing. Hold it. Okay. okay. No me permite, permítame que no, no me deja, no me deja. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Como tiene Denis dos. Okay. Entonces tenemos lo que usted preguntaba. Eh, le explico acá. Hey, I don't know what happens. It doesn't let me. Okay, here. For example, to sing. It is the full infinitive. El infinitivo completo. Sing is the verb infinitive. El infinitivo simple. La base del verbo. And singing es el infinitivo con ing. Los tres significan lo mismo dependiendo del uso que le damos. En este caso, utilizamos singing porque llevamos una preposición antes del verbo. No podemos decir, how good are you at to sing? No, that is not correct. You cannot say, how good are you at sing? No, porque la regla nos dice gramatical que después de una preposición, el verbo que le sigue en presente simple debe ir en ing, pero su significado es el mismo, cantar, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Thank you for asking that, because some people get uh, a little bit confused with the present continuous, but this is not the case. So how good are you at singing? And if I ask that, what could be one potential answer in affirmative? Short answer. How good are you at singing? Very good. Okay, very good. Or, excellent. Yes, amazing, astonishing, yeah. And another one, another question. How, okay, for example, how well do you cook? Si se fijan acá, no lleva ninguna preposición, por lo tanto, usamos el infinitivo simple. Cook, do you cook? How well do you cook? Yes, que también cocinas. And then you say, uh, delicious. Or, um, excellent, yes. Or pretty, pretty well. good, pretty well, very well. Okay. 
and then you say pretty well and so on, okay? Or not so very well. And you have here one question with how good, how well. And now, las, las otras dos preguntas, se recuerdan, las otras dos frases with how. Mm -hmm. How often do you program? How often do you? For example, go, go to school. How often do you go to school? Do you go to school? Or how often do you cook? How often do you listen to uh, English music? Yes. And then you say, uh, here, how often do you go to school? You may say uh, every day. Yes. Every how often do you take a bed? How often do you take? Uh, would you repeat, please? How often do you take? Hello? Somebody help me. How often do you? How often do you take? Take a breakfast. A uh, breakfast. Every day, yes. And this could be question number four. And another question, okay, that you might create with the other structure, how long, how long, mm -hmm. Do you play soccer? How long do you play soccer, for example? Very well, do you play? Soccer. And then the potential answer could be. How long do you play soccer? You say. Um, maybe. Two hours. Okay. Two hours. Twice a week. Two hours a week. Two hours a week. Dos horas a la semana. In this case, you cannot say twice because you say, or two hours twice a week serían cuatro horas semanales. Yes or no? But if you say two hours a week, dos horas a la semana. Yes? How well do you learn English? How well do you, do you, learn, do you learn English? English? Mm -hmm. And then the potential answer could be, hello? Pretty well. Uh, pretty well. Pretty well or average, yes? And this could be, okay? So this was just a, an example of what you are going to be building in class. In the breakout rooms, you use your creativity. It is the production time, okay? Do you have any question about this? No question. Okay, you're going to build five questions as a team. Como equipo van a crear cinco preguntas. And you are going to be asking and answering, but remember the, question, the answers should be short. Yes, only using adverbs. Is that okay? Yes, for example, how long do you, um, how long do you, uh, no, in that case, how long does it take you to go to the beach? Okay, I'm going to write it. ¿Cuánto tiempo te lleva llegar a la playa? ¿En cuánto tiempo llegas a la playa? Yes, how, how long does, it take you to go to the beach, depending where you live, okay? Mm, in my case, I would say um, 40 minutes. Uh, but in this case, it is uh, the period of time specific, okay? 40 minutes. 
in my case, I don't know, it depends the, the beach you are, you are going to visit and where you live. Yeah, 40 minutes, for example, to Puerto de la Libertad or Costa del Sol. But if I go to Huachapan, it is longer, right? Okay. So, ready? Here we go. I'm going to stop presenting. Okay. Solo singing significa cantando, pero en el caso que lo vimos significa cantar infinitivo, ¿verdad? Okay. Hello. Sería porque es pregunta, no afirmación. No, pero porque lleva antes una preposición, ¿sí? ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Very well. Now let's move to the breakout rooms. And here we go. Ok. Ok. Please, class, join your groups. Join your groups and begin the activity. I need Claudia and Jose join your groups. Claudia, we need you in your group. And Jose, Jose Adan, please go to your group. Okay, here. Hello. Hello. You were supposed to be three, but you are only two. Later on, your partners are going to. Victor is here. Yeah, no? Victor and Jose Adan, you are here. Okay, let's try to begin building the questions. So, intentemos construir las preguntas, okay? Okay. I'll be back. Thank you. Here, Eduardo. If you want to share your screen, guys, you feel free to do it, okay? If you want to share the screen, you can share it, no problem. Okay. Okay, very well. Let's begin. Only five questions. Only five questions. Hi. All where you swim? Work. Do you work? Uh -huh. Do you do you work? Ah, uh, you Jurma. Si. Sí. Otra. Teacher. Yes. Eh, es solo pregunta o también vamos a corresponder. No, solo la pregunta, porque luego las van a hacer orales las preguntas, ¿ok? Ah, oh, ok, mm. ok. Y quizás podríamos decir la última, how often do you play? O, o play video. Uh -huh. Pero que eso es muy común. Uh -huh. Podríamos, busquemos una que no sea común. How often do you play yeah. Free Fire or the other one? One of those games. The other cada, is the, the, Among Us. Cada, no. ¿Cada cuánto tiempo tomas alcohol? Oh. Never. They are, everybody is going to tell you never <laughs> because the class is recorded. The answer is going to be never. You? Yes. Ah. The drinking. Drinking. Uh, probably twice a year. Twice a year for for Christmas and maybe for uh, New Year's Day. Yeah. Yes, in, in, in Christmas is. ¿Cómo sería aceptable? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Only for Christmas because you are home. Yeah. And remember also because of the pandemic, things changed. Yeah. 
Ah, ok. Uh -huh, yes. Because of okay. the coronavirus. Uh -huh. and, and holidays. Ajá, uh -huh, and holidays, only for holidays. You may say. Um, uh, in the año? What is it? Uh, twice a year. Twice a year twice a or year. once a year. Yeah. Once okay. a year. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces, ¿cómo se comenzó la última pregunta? How often? Yes. Sí, how, how often, often do you drink alcohol? Alcohol. Yes. Now okay. you ask and answer the questions, ok? Yeah, teacher. Among yourself, very well. How often do you drink the gym? Tres más. ¿Cuál es la otra? Um, ¿Qué le hemos dicho? Si no damos la, lo que nosotros. Como no estamos ya. Bueno. Ponerle ahí, how often, ah, pero le hemos dicho, how oh, well do you play chill, verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. El otro era, how well you swim, que también nada. How well do you swim? Do you swim? Mm -hmm. How well do you swim? Well, do you swim? La otra teníamos. How, how often do you go to the gym? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. what the, you did show. How often, often do you go to a pizza? To eat pizza. Uh -huh. How often do you go food for yeah. pizza? Now you have the questions. Yes, the five questions. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, now we're going to get back to the main session room because you're going to ask the questions to the other classmates. Yes? And they are going to ask you the questions that they have. Is that okay? Okay. okay. Let's get back. Very well, class. Now I need you to get ready with your questions because right now you are going to be asking your questions to people from other groups, okay? Get ready. But if you, by any coincidence, you have the same question that somebody else asked, you change the question. You ask another question, okay? Entonces vamos a trabajar así. Dependiendo de cómo... Um, construyeron las preguntas, si a la hora que usted le haga la pregunta a un compañero o a una compañera, eh, ya escuchó esta pregunta, la cambia, ya hace otra pregunta, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, here we go. Let's begin with Victor. Remember, Victor, you read the question and you say the question goes to, la pregunta va para, ok, es para y menciona el nombre del compañero o compañera. El compañero que conteste, Hace la pregu o es otra pregunta a otro compañero o compañera. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. 
Victor, you begin. You open the activity. Uh, Denise. Denise Palacios, okay. get ready. I'm ready. Uh, how will you play cheese? How will? How well do you play chess? Chess. Chess. You know the meaning of chess? I don't know. It. Okay, ajedrez. How well, do, how well do you play chess? Chess, no. Uh-huh. Uh, no, no. No not play very well. Chess. Not very no short answer. Not very well. Okay. Not very well. Now not Dennis, very well. excellent. Now Dennis, you ask one question to another classmate. Okay. My question is uh, Jocelyn. Okay, Jocelyn, get ready. Okay. Uh, how often do you dance? How well do you dance? How well do you dance? Pretty well. Excellent. That's the attitude. Now, Jocelyn, okay. you ask the question to another classmate. Uh, the question goes to Eduardo. 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 Okay. How often do you go to the cinema? I go to the cinema once a month. Okay, now Edward, ask one question to another classmate. My question is goes to Victor Reyes. Victor, get ready. How often do you practice English? Uh, you practice more or less practice English. No, how often do you practice English? Con qué frecuencia practica inglés? Always, sometimes, usually, hardly ever, seldom, occasionally, generally, or rarely. never. Rarely. Only rarely because it is short answer, remember. Now, Victor, you ask one question to Jose Adán or to Claudia Sar. You choose. Jose Adán. Okay. Okay. How often do you go running? How often do you? Do you go running? Do you go running? Running. Running, 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 running. in the park, on the street, yeah? Or after the bus? Yeah, I, I usually on the one, one week, in the one week. But if, Jose, if you say usually, that's okay. Because remember, it is only short answers, okay? Usually, okay. that is your answer. Now, Jose Adan, ask the question to Claudia, please. Okay. Claudia, how often, often do you go to the gym? I hardly ever. Okay, very well. Now I'm going to ask you one question to each of you, okay? Here we go. Jocelyn, <clears throat> how good are you at swimming? How good are you at swimming? Not so good. Okay. Edward, 
Eduardo, how good are you at uh, cooking? Sometimes, teacher. No, how good are you at cooking? Bad, teacher. Oh, really? Okay, the question goes to, um, let's see, Dennis. Yes, Dennis. Okay, Dennis. How good are you at playing basketball? Bad teacher. Uh, Claudia. Hello, Miss Claudia. Hello, teacher. Miss Claudia, how good are you at singing in English? Hi, bad teacher. Jose Adan, your question. Okay, Jose Adan, how good are you at drinking soda? Thank you. Uh, so, very good. <laughs> yes, many people, especially Coke, right? Yes. Okay, Coca Jeremy. Yes, Jeremy. No, no seal. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, are you here, Jeremy? Yeah, teacher. Okay, Jeremy, how good are you at eating pizza? So very good, teacher. <laughs> uh, extremely good, you say. Uh, Victor. How good are you at eating pupusas? Very good. Okay, yes. Very because cool. it, okay, everybody, I think, everybody in El Salvador is uh, extremely good at eating pupusas. But Very well. The crazy. Okay, ah, the crazy one. Yes, excellent. <laughs> okay, very great. Very All of them are really delicious, right? Okay, very well. So we were practicing the how questions. How often, how good, how well, and how long. Yes, very well. And now here we're going to have uh, a preview of uh, the conversation with did you do anything, okay? Did in past tense. Here in this session, participants will listen to conversation about two people at the activities they did it during the past weekend. So I'm going to play it for you because next Monday you're going to describe the activities that you did in this weekend. That for you in my class begins tomorrow, okay? So here we go. Let's listen to this. You tell me if you listen because I don't remember if I click for the sharing the audio. Hi to all, welcome to section Do seven. Do you listen class? We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activity. Hello class, are you able to listen? Yes? Yeah. yes. Okay, great, here we go, let's continue. This they did last weekend. Session will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. Okay, as you focus. listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Okay. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, so the idea here, class, is that you listen to the conversation and you're going to write the verbs that you are identify in the conversation in past tense. Okay, so I'm going to the verbs in past tense. This is the one. Okay, so in this conversation, let's see. Um, tell me, which are the verbs that according to you are in past tense? You have to write them, okay? According to the instruction the speaker gives you. 
And here we go. I'm going to play it once again for you. And you identify the verbs in past tense, in simple past tense. Hi to all, welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. <clears throat> so here, let's see. If I say, so what did you do uh, last weekend, Meg? Do you identify any verb in past tense? Did, because it is the past tense of do. It is the modal auxiliary did for past tense. Yes, did. Oh, I had a great time. Any verb in past tense? Had. Had. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Tell me the verbs in past. Went. Sang. Sang. Very well. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? Yeah. Did. Lucky's. Did. This is the name of the place, Lucky's. Okay. No, we didn't. Yes or did. no? Did in negative, did. right? No. We went to that new place downtown. Went. 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 How about you? Are you standing? No, there is no. Did you go anywhere? Did. 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 No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. Did. 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 Okay, in negative. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Stayed. Yeah. Stayed. Studied. studied. Very well. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Oh, forgot. 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 Don't worry, you always get an oh, A. No. Don't, don't. Always no. is a frequency advert. So don't worry, no past tense. You always get an A, no. Okay, very well. So um, I am sharing this with you guys because for next uh, Monday, you are going to describe what you did in the weekend because the topic is, did you do anything special? Okay, is this algo especial? Did you do anything special last weekend? Okay, so what did you do last weekend, uh, Jose Adan? And then you're going to say, oh, I blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to start, okay? Okay. So very well, great, listen. Remember guys, for tomorrow, you need to complete your assignments. Para mañana tienen que completar determinadas actividades, ¿sí? There's no yes. class, but you need to be working in the platform, okay? So do you have any question about the topic that we studied today? Preguntas sobre lo que estuvimos trabajando esta clase? Bueno, sure. Okay. If you don't have any question, that's okay. But if you are working in the platform and something that is not according to you good or comprehensible appears or emerges, uh, you text me, okay? Me escriben para tratar de solventarlo, de acuerdo? Or you may write to um, the tech support, a uh, soporte técnico, le pueden escribir directamente, okay? So okay. class, thank you so very much. Tomorrow, no class. You, and I hope to see you on Monday. Please be careful. Have a good night. Sleep well. Good night. See you Monday. Okay. Bye bye. Blessings. 
Bless Bye, you. Teacher. Take care. Thank you for joining to the class. Okay. Bye -bye. See you next class. See you next class. See you Monday. Bye bye. Take care.